All right, time for part three of modifiers. We talked about adjectives, we talked about adverbs, so now we're on to our third type of modifier, which is a prepositional phrase. Before we can talk about prepositional phrases, we have to start with just what is a preposition. So a preposition is a short word, and they usually show time, location, or logical relationships. These are the little words that come in little phrases. Um, it's hard to explain what prepositions are exactly because they have lots of different meanings, but it's better to look at a list of common prepositions and then you get a good feeling for what prepositions are. So of, at, to, from, in, out, after, about, up, on, off, with, without, for, by, through, under, over, between, above, below, around, against, beside, below, and during. So that's not every preposition, but that is many, many of the most popular prepositions in English. Okay? So prepositions never come by themselves. You never just see in. Right? You are always going to see a preposition in a prepositional phrase. So the word phrase means a group of words, okay? So a preposition um, is always going to be followed by a noun or pronoun. A prepositional phrase starts with a preposition and it ends with a noun or pronoun. You might have some words in the middle. You might have an article like the or a. You might have adjectives in the middle. But the important thing is it starts with a preposition and it ends when you come to a noun or pronoun, okay? So, at my house. At is the preposition, house is the noun. So the whole thing is a prepositional phrase. In is the preposition, classroom is the noun. In the classroom, the whole thing together is the prepositional phrase. So after is a preposition. Years is the noun. So after many years, all together, prepositional phrase. So these are all examples with three words, but you could also have a two-word prepositional phrase, like with Emily. So we have the preposition plus the noun. And then you could have a longer prepositional phrase. For example, for the last week or in a few years, those are four words, right? But it starts with the preposition and ends with a noun. What's in the middle? We have the article the and the adjective last. I move my head down here. The noun or the pronoun at the end of a prepositional phrase has a special name. It's called the object of the preposition. So maybe you remember before we talked about the noun at the beginning of a sentence, it's called the subject. The noun after a verb is called the object or the object of the verb. The noun at the end of a prepositional phrase is called the object of the preposition. Just a little extra information for you. So this activity asks you to underline all the prepositional phrases. So you remember you always start with a preposition and continue until you hit a noun or pronoun and you underline the whole thing. So I talked to my best friend about the situation. To my best friend, that is a prepositional phrase starting with the preposition to and it ends with the noun friend. But this one actually has two prepositional phrases about the situation. Ooh. Let's put a different underline so they look different. There. So again, we have a preposition all the way to the noun. Your sentences can have prepositional phrases in many places. They can go at the beginning, they can go at the end, and you can have more than one. I talked to my best friend about the situation with her father um, at her house no, with 
a cup of tea. You can keep adding prepositional phrases. It's a great way to add information to your sentence in English. Okay. All right, my new printer is on the desk next to my computer. We have a prepositional phrase here on the desk. Starts with a preposition and ends with a noun. My dog's playing ball with himself back here. Um, okay, and then next to my computer is another prepositional phrase. So we actually have two, again. Starts with a preposition next to and ends with a computer noun. The fat cat cleaned himself with his sticky tongue. Where's the prepositional phrase? With his sticky tongue. Starts with a preposition, goes all the way to the noun tongue. All right, American education is different than in other countries. So here's our preposition. This is an adjective and this is a noun. Jane's handwriting is small, but I can read it with glasses. So here's my preposition with. Now when you start looking at prepositions, you start looking for small words a lot of the time. Don't get confused when you see it. It is a pronoun, right? So the preposition here is with. In my opinion. This is an introductory prepositional phrase right at the beginning of our sentence. In is your preposition all the way to the noun opinion. It is important to finish all your homework before class. Now this is confusing. That looks like a prepositional phrase until you've learned more about gerunds and infinitives. So if you picked to finish, I understand. But that is not a prepositional phrase. We are gonna come down here. Before is our preposition and class is our noun. The beautiful dancer moves gracefully across the floor. Prepositional phrase. We will never use our cell phones in class. In my whole life, I have never seen a ghost. So life is our noun, so we have to continue all the way till we get to life. He speaks slowly and carefully in English. And we carefully reviewed the applications for the position. All right, so those are the answers to your activity four. Make sure you check those and check any problems that you had. Um, again, you can have prepositional phrases at the beginning, you can have prepositional phrases at the end, you can have prepositional phrases in the middle. They're very flexible, they can go anywhere, you can have more than one. So it's really important to learn about prepositional phrases. All right, good luck.